Well, a very good evening from Phuket and tonight I've come over to Patong to check out a restaurant that I've been wanting to visit for ages. We're just off Ratchetit Road. I will put all the details down in the description but tonight we're going to be taking a look at a restaurant called Cappadocia. This is a restaurant that specialises in Turkish food. One that's been getting some really good reviews the pictures of the food look amazing so I've come over to check it out myself so just in front of us here is Ratchetit Road and then it's just one of the small size of Ratchetit and there is the restaurant as you can see Cappadocia very very busy tonight a lot of people in there in fact Patong in general is very busy we've uh, taken a while getting through the traffic in the main part of Patong but I'm really looking forward to trying the food in here. So we've had to grab a table inside the main part of the restaurant rather than on the balcony area, which I would have preferred to have sat. But unfortunately, as you can see, it is very busy out there, so we can't sit outside. In the main restaurant, unfortunately for me, they've got background music on, so I've chosen to do some voiceovers in this section of the video. In a moment, we're gonna take a look at the menu and see what Turkish delights they have on offer in this restaurant. Now, as you open the menu up, you are greeted by the drinks page. Reasonable drink selection at reasonable prices. They do have beers and they start at around 80 baht upwards. They've also got a small breakfast menu. Not quite sure what time the restaurant opens in the morning. There's appetizers and a good choice of salads. So if you fancy some starters, they've got starters from 130 baht upwards and then of course you have the Turkish pie which is a Turkish flatbread done very much in the style of a pizza so I'm going to be looking forward to trying them then they've got chicken and beef dishes lots and lots of choice as you can see running through the menu and the prices are quite reasonable considering we are in the middle of Patong so we're going to get our order in and then see what this food tastes and looks like okay so our order has just gone in now at the time of ordering this being our first visit and the waitress had never said anything we have ordered some bread and dips but the restaurant also bring you some complimentary bread and dips so that's worth bearing in mind be careful because you may end up with an awful lot of bread on your table for starters we've ordered the falafel and also the hay diary which i believe is a thick and tangy yogurt that's mixed with herbs and spices sounds delicious for our mains Nat has ordered the chicken in bread ploy has ordered a beef and cheese pie I've also decided to have one of the pies because they do look absolutely delicious but I've had the mixed meat with cheese pie so let's bring on the food so the foods are just starting to arrive at the table first off we have the falafel which looks great it comes up with a dip so very much looking forward to trying that there's also the pied that ploy has ordered with the minced beef and cheese sitting here very very envious looking at that that looks absolutely gorgeous now we did have a slight problem with the other starter that we ordered i think they forgot about it because the restaurant is so busy so we did have to remind the waiter that we had ordered a second starter which is the hay dairy as you can see there and again absolutely delicious to be honest with you it tastes really really nice i can't fault the food whatsoever but it does come with some more bread so just bearing in mind we have had quite a lot of bread dishes tonight then next up is my pied which was the mixed meat pied with cheese and uh, i'm just so looking forward to trying this i can't wait to get a slice of that in my mouth i'm sure it's going to be absolutely gorgeous and then again a slight mix up with the mains they've forgotten about 
Nat, so she's sitting there eating all the falafels while she's waiting for her main again I had to mention it to the waiter there was very apologetic and I know the restaurant is very busy this evening so I can overlook the fact that they forgot one of the mains but Nat's got her main now the chicken in bread again a lot more bread it's a shame that the french fries were not home made or home cut that would have been a little bit better than frozen but overall the food has been excellent the taste is delicious and i definitely will be returning to try some more of their menu well what can i say absolutely gorgeous food in there i've really enjoyed this evening it makes a change from thai food and some of the other food that i've eaten turkish food really really nice the turkish tea that i tried really delicious i have to say i wouldn't mind trying to find some turkish tea myself because i really enjoyed that but overall very very impressed minor blip with the service they forgot one of the starters but they quickly put that right when we mentioned it and also one of the mains was a little bit slow coming out i can excuse them for that because the food was absolutely delicious don't forget to check out the description and down below great place to come if you're in patong and you want some turkish food check it out see what you think yourself check it on my group because i'm going to post some of the pictures of the food as well in the group so do check that out and i guess that just leaves me to say as always thanks for watching and until next time you take care and i will catch you on the next one